All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakaq Kudash. We'll give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the person of work in truth and in sincerity. Um, just want to go on this topic of uh, logic, uh, reflection, and mm -hmm. um, concentration. Okay? And um, basically, you know, when you go into the word uh, logic, okay, I'm going to get that definition, okay, the word logic, the definition, it says reasoning conducted or assessed according to strict principles of validity, okay? Now, if you believe in the scriptures that, you know, um, you're supposed to reason and, and uh you know, just think, you know, logically of what you're supposed to be um, doing when it comes down to being the man of the Lord. Okay, now first I want to get this scripture, okay, because we was, you know, we was called into this truth, okay, and, um, you know, there's a certain uh, mindset that, you know, you have to have when you come into this truth, okay, um, this is John 4. And uh, 23, it says, but the hour comes and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeks such to worship him. Um, it says, Yahweh by some Yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, so when it comes down to the spirit, we supposed to reflect on what the scriptures say. Now, we have to also realize that, you know, all of us are sinners, okay? Um, uh, Isaiah 1 and uh, 18, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool, Okay? It says, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. Okay. So when it comes down to serving the Lord. Okay. We're supposed to fear. Okay. Supposed to fear. Okay. Fear the Lord. Okay. Okay. Because the Lord could, could destroy you, man. And, 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 you know, the scripture just said, uh, you know, that if you don't, if you don't uh, listen, you know, then, then you, uh, you'll be destroyed, man. Okay. By the sword. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to get uh, the scripture in uh, Proverbs. Okay. It's in Proverbs. There's a lot of scriptures on, on uh, fear. Okay. Um, Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wit of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. So a person who, who fears the Lord. Okay. You know, you know that, you know, logically. Okay. Speaking that. You know, you don't want to go off because the Lord, you know, could destroy you. Okay. So, uh, no matter what you go through. Okay. When you do go through uh, certain things, you're supposed to reflect on what the Bible says. Okay. Now, the scriptures talk about uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is the, the author. Okay. Of our and the finisher of our faith, okay, now I'm gonna get this, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, for God, Yahweh Shem Yahshua is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints, okay, so it should, you shouldn't be confused about what you're supposed to do in this truth, okay, um, have a, I mean, Hebrews, uh, uh, 12 and 2 looking onto I'm gonna get that uh, um, looking onto 
uh, no, I'm going to get the first verse. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth be so easily beset us, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, so in this truth, okay, knowing that we're sinners, okay, we we have to, to, to go through these trials and tribulations, okay, because we sinned against the Lord, okay? And the Lord is basically getting these impurities out of us, okay, so that we could, you know, worship him the, 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 the right way, okay? And we could uh, be the sons of God that we the Lord intends for us to be. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for the Lord to come redeem us or save us or avenge us, okay, we're also uh, going through, you know, the trials, okay, to, 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 to make us more perfect towards serving the Lord, okay? So we have to be patient and wait for, you know, that, that time to come. Okay, it says, looking onto Yahweh side, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh by Samuel Saab. For consider him that endured such contradiction. Hey, say consider. That's something that, you know, a word that, that goes to, to reflection. Okay. Uh get this word consider okay Strong's G357 Analagidzamai Analagidzamai and that kind of sounds like uh, analyze okay it says to think over consider or ponder okay It says, consider him, so reflect back, okay, on, on Yahweh Shah, okay, him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds, okay? So we supposed to be, uh, we supposed to reflect on the scriptures and uh, what Yahweh Shah uh, said, okay, because all these things was prophesied that we would go through these things okay um in order to serve the lord okay it says you have not re resisted unto blood striving against sin and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks or speaks unto you as, the, as unto children my son despise not thou the chastening of the lord nor faint when thou art rebuked of him okay so when you when you're going through you know, hell, reflect back on the scriptures and, you know, realize that it's coming from the Lord. Okay. No matter what it says, for whom the Lord loves, he chasteneth and the Lord is our father. Okay. And, and scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, Yahweh by Samuel side deals with you as with sons. A lot of people think that when you come into this truth that, you know, God is all love. You know, God isn't all love. You know, that's something that's of the world. Okay, you have to change that whole mentality. It says, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Okay. But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons? So, you know, if you're in this truth and you're not catching hell, you need to reflect. And, 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 and see, hey, is the Lord really dealing with you? It says, furthermore, if we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Okay. Um, let me get this one, uh, the 11th verse. It says, now no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, because once you go through that hell, okay, and you, you, uh, 
worship the Lord, the Lord always sends that that you know that blessing that shows that you got through you know that that trial. Okay, and and one way to get through that trial, okay, is to 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 concentrate. Okay, to concentrate on the 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 scriptures. Okay, because we have uh, um, a um um. A goal that we're trying to achieve okay uh, Colossians 3 and 2 it says set your affection on things above not on things of on the earth okay so one of the things when you're going to affection okay this is something that you're supposed to to love to do okay you're supposed to love this 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 word okay um, it says affection. I'm trying to pull it up. It says to have understanding, be wise, to feel, to think. Okay, it says to have an opinion of oneself, think of oneself, to be modest, not let one's opinion, though just of himself, exceed the balance of modesty. Okay, to think or judge what one's opinion is. To be of the same mind, agreed uh, together, cherish the same views, be harmonious. Okay. So a person that you know is concentrating on on getting through the kingdom, you're going to be setting your mind on that. Okay. So nothing that that is in this this, this society, okay, or in this this world, is going to uh, mess with you, man, or get you off of that course because your mind. Is on trying to reach the goal, okay. No matter what comes your way, okay. Um, Matthew six and thirty three. It says, "But seek ye um, first the kingdom of Yahweh, but see me outside and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." Okay. It says, "Take therefore no thought for tomorrow or for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the." is the evil thereof okay so don't worry about you know what what you know when you go through uh like for example this scripture is talking about uh the famine okay when a famine comes you know don't worry about you know whether uh you're gonna um eat or or whatever the case may be okay or what you shall drink because the lord the lord uh is gonna handle that okay and there's many um um situations in the scriptures where the Lord fed uh people, okay, where he he, he first off he feeds you any anyway, okay. He feeds you anyway, okay. Um, I'm gonna get this scripture and I'm gonna um end the lesson, okay. Um, Psalm one and uh one, it says, "Blessed is the man that walks not not." In the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Okay, because you want to be around like-minded uh, brothers. Okay, uh, it says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Okay, because let's say you go through something. Okay, some some hard stuff. People in the world don't even know how to get you through those times, man. Okay. And, and if they do give you an answer, it's to get you off of the path of fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Okay, but a brother in this truth, you know, is going to tell you like, hey, man, you know, that's how, how things go in this truth. Okay, you're supposed to have that, that mindset like, yeah, this is how, how it goes. Okay, and, and just reflect back on what the scriptures say. It says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and his law doth he meditate day and night. And that's what the concentration is, man. Reflecting, man. Okay? On, on these scriptures, on your how about y'all side. Always thinking, okay, about what the Lord wants us to do. Okay? It says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Okay, so a person who doesn't reflect on these scriptures, 
okay, or concentrate, okay, just doesn't have any fear, they're going to get destroyed, okay. It says, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish, okay. And that's the ultimate logic. That's the ultimate big picture. Okay, because we want to we want to to, to, to be saved and get the hell up out of here, man. Okay. Uh uh just to serve the Lord the right way and to be in peace. Okay? But with that, man, you know, I want to say uh Salawam.